Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with a review of the penultimate episode of the Orville's first season, New Dimensions. After Gordon and John play a prank on Yafit, Kelly discovers that John is actually hiding a super genius intelligence. And she proposes to Ed that they make him the new chief engineer, with their previous chief engineer moving forward in order to create a new space station. Through this, Ed also discovered that Kelly was the one who recommended him to become captain of the Orville, and this caused him to begin to question his command capabilities, due to him not feeling that he earned this honor on his own. And while this is happening, they all discover an anomaly in space, which might just lead them into something none of them expected. I have mixed feelings about this episode, because while I like it, and I like that they finally went more into John as a character, because of the Orville crew, he felt like the one who had the least focus on him so far. This doesn't really feel like a huge growing moment for his character, and it really just feels like his plot was put in there to give resolution to the thing from the first episode where Kelly was the one who suggested Ed to Captain the Orville. We learn that he's intelligent, he has the potential for command capabilities, and we learn a bit about his backstory, but it feels sort of glossed over in the grand scheme of things. And it kind of feels the same way with Ed's subplot here too. The revelation doesn't really seem to affect his command decisions throughout the episode until the very end, and it really only comes into play in the scenes between him and Kelly alone. And it kind of feels like stuff that we've already gone over with the two. But hopefully now with all of this out, it will create more stability in these two characters' relationships. For the episode before the season finale, this episode comes across as very run-of-the-mill. I feel it may have been better if they had used this episode to build up to the finale itself, or if they made it more comedy-focused to make the situation in the finale seem more serious. But that's just my own opinion on it. Overall, I give this episode a 7 out of 10. It's fairly average for what the Orville has been putting out so far, but I like that we got more focus on John's backstory here, and we finally got resolution to the plotline that was introduced in the first episode. And the concept of what was actually inside of the anomaly was interesting, even if it was a kind of look-don't-touch style situation. But that'll do it for this review, guys. So let us know down in the comments what you guys thought of this episode. And if you're interested in hearing more reviews like this, feel free to click that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be immediately informed whenever a new video goes up. But until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out. Check out our Facebook and Twitter for our latest updates, our website for our latest articles and editorials, and donate to our Patreon if you'd like to see our content get better.